one of our favorite events of the year, King of the Hammers is a wild ride that every off-road enthusiast needs to experience. Trust me, you go once, you're gonna be hooked. Along with approximately 80,000 other spectators, the event has racing that encompasses desert trophy trucks, buggies, UTVs, Everyman Challenge, and of course, the Unlimited 4400 race. Through the dusty days in the California desert, you'll experience a barrage of off-road insanity that must be seen in person to truly get the full experience. Watching racers like Lauren Healy throw his bronc over top of a cliff and land on all four tires with pedal to the metal is mind-blowing on your phone, but seeing it in person is another thing altogether. The racing is wild, and you can get up and close and personal to the vehicles, smell the gasoline, feel the rubber, and most importantly for us, see what suspension they're running. These race vehicles are built for performance and can cost upwards of a million dollars to build. They have been tested and tuned in some of the harshest environments possible. Desert racing is brutal on the components of a vehicle, and the suspension has to be properly dialed in to be able to move at speed over the landscape. Fewer than half of the 101 vehicles that started the race of King's main event reached the finish line within the 14-hour time limit. Raul Gomez took home the $67,000 winner's purse for the 212-mile grand finale, which included 14 obstacles with names such as Chocolate Thunder, Backdoor, Aftershock, and Heartbreak Hill. Gomez completed the course in six hours, 57 minutes, 12 seconds, and that's gonna do a number on any vehicle. Driving through Camp in Hammertown, you're surrounded by a sea of RVs, toy haulers, tents, and everyone brings out all their toys to play. In our camp, we had a variety of different options from the Ranger to the Wrangler, Tundra to Coma, a few different Forerunners, Power Wagon, Ram Rebel, and Silverado. We had the SUV and truck market covered, but we also brought our Can-Am side by side and had blast ripping through the desert. Three of our vehicles received new suspension upgrades to the Bilstein 5100s. We had two vehicles running 8100s, the Power Wagons running Fox 2.0s, and our daily drivers are all well equipped, but that side by side has a suspension and power to weight ratio that just cannot be matched. It's fast and the suspension is built for speed through rough terrain. That back door where the shit show begins. At night, KOH comes to life. Some people liken this event to Burning Man where an entire city just pops up overnight and everyone goes all out. As the sun sets behind Hammertown, fires start burning, you smell the food cooking and the party kicks off. Once the race course is closed around 10 p.m., the crawlers come out and everyone converges on the more well-known trails. We spent a few nights cycling between Backdoor and Chocolate Thunder and there was no shortage of action. The mountainsides are covered in thousands of people, fires are everywhere like something out of Mad Max, and there is no shortage of vehicles bouncing off the rev limiter, attempting to get up the mountain while people run out of the way. It's wild, completely unhinged, and we love it. One of the last places where we truly feel free and there's a strong sense of community. It's the Wild West out here. Our recommendation, bring plenty of water. Drink your water, everybody. Yeah, right. And maybe some earplugs if you want to sleep. Most importantly, have a sense of adventure and keep exploring. It's a week-long choose-your-adventure in the desert, and there is no shortage of entertaining options to be had.